ask me all the time, everybody wants to be a cut man. They see what I do and I think that's a good thing. They ask me what, you know, what it takes to be a cut man and, and I get doctors and EMTs and nurses and just everybody, I mean, I get emails all the time. But the first thing I tell them is first and foremost is, you know, you gotta spend hours and days and weeks and months and years in the gym learning how to be a fighter and then transition into being a, a corner man, being a cut man. But, you know, those are all the elements you have to have underneath your, your base. Uh, but, you know, once you get into that circuit and you spend years and years uh, donating your time, wrapping hands and working with fighters, and uh, you, you learn that psychology is a big part of what we do as a cut man. Outside of the tools of the trade, the, the medications, the kale swell, the Vaseline, the ice, you know, outside of those, those are the mechanical things. But to really be a good cut man mentally is, is you have to have that number one composure. You can't be freaking out as soon as you see a cut. And, uh, you know, you have, for the most part, 50 seconds, so you have to maximize that time. You know, keeping your composure and psychology is, you know, having these fighters, they have to trust you in doing what you do because uh, you, you save careers and uh, you give these guys that opportunity to go that one more round. But that's, you know, at the end of the day is our job as a cut man is to give that fighter uh, that one more round.